I'm not sure if this happens to my fellow hermits, but sometimes I'm having such a great time on the server that I kind of forget that I gotta make a video for you guys here on YouTube. For example, for the first few days of this week, I did a whole bunch of stuff that I hadn't even really planned to put into a video, but ended up taking up a ridiculous amount of time. I mean, it's not like I was messing around or anything, guys. I started this week at the Hexadeca Chopper and blasted a whole ton of trees so that Karanis and I could restock Gigalogs. And I also took the opportunity to casually install a brand new Bubble Veta design that was created by my incredible Redstone team. And as you can see, the creepers are now flowing straight up the tube to the kill chamber above and not despawning in the Bubble Veta below. Just by tweaking that Bubble Veta to ensure that the creepers don't get stuck at the bottom of it, we almost doubled our gunpowder production from 42 stacks to around a double chest and a quarter worth of gunpowder per hour which, let's be honest, is going to be more gunpowder than we ever need. So, yeah, super happy with that upgrade. We got gunpowder coming out the wazoo, my dudes. And while I was out here, and as I have a beacon set up below Gigacorp Island, I decided to mine, I don't know, three or four shulker boxes of Deep Slate, because I figured we like Deep Slate a lot on this channel, so might as well get some more. And like I said, I wasn't just wasting time, my dudes, because it actually turns out we may have to use all of that Deep Slate in today's episode which is going to be very much focused on creating our very first solo shop in the shopping district where we're going to be selling jack-o'-lanterns from all of our excess gigapie stock. And I also think that in this episode, I want to do something about the roads because, well, there are no roads on the server and it's driving me crazy. Anyway, I digress. On my way back from Gigacorp Island, I came upon Tango's brand new nether hub. And isn't this thing an absolute beauty? I love it so much that I decided this week I'd spend a couple of hours helping Tango out by building the tunnel that leads all the way to Gigacorp Island, which is about 1800 blocks north, and then a right turn and another 500 blocks to get to the island. And well, nobody's going to build that tunnel but me. So yeah, I built a couple of segments of Tango's nether hub tunnel. I mean, what, what you going to do? Oh, and by the way, big shout out to Tango for an incredible nether hub for season nine. I mean, it's been a while since we've had a nether hub on the Hermitcraft server. And to be honest, I've always missed it. You know, the nether hub is always the central part of any Minecraft server and the place that you can go to find yourself around the ever expanding world that is an SMP server. So thank you very much, Tango. I'm going to do my best to get this northern tunnel built. But um, yeah, it's going to be one heck of a grind. So what can I say? I guess sometimes us hermits just get carried away on the server and do a whole bunch of stuff before we even hit the record button. Any hoozle, I think it's probably time to take off the Hawaiian shirt and start this week's episode. Ren diggity dog, take it away. Greetings cyber dogs and citizens of the interbubs. This is Ren diggity dog coming at you in another Minecraft episode for ROM. The Hermit Craft Server. We're kicking things off today, my friends, from the newly sprouted shopping district on the server, where in this week's episode, we're going to be building our very first shop known as Gigajax. And it's going to be absolutely awesome. Although, I gotta be honest, Cyberdogs, before we even place a block out here at the Gigajax Foundations, there's a very serious issue on this server that I would like to address with you all and with all of my fellow hermits. Now for all of you Hermitcraft fans that have been watching my fellow hermits for the last few weeks, you'll know that since we created Gigalogs, a whole bunch of shops have started to pop up around this here dark oakwood forest. And though it pleases me greatly to see the economy starting to take shape for the season, guys, there's an issue that I just cannot let slide right now. Now for all of you Hermitcraft fans that have been watching my fellow hermits for the last few weeks, you'll know that since we created Gigalogs, a whole bunch of shops have started to pop up around this here dark oakwood forest. And though it pleases me greatly to see the economy starting to take shape for the season, guys, there's an issue that I just cannot let slide right now. There's a whole bunch of awesome looking shops out here, but there literally is not a single road. I mean, what sort of outrageous situation are we in right now, guys? This is Hermitcraft. This is the world's number one SMP and we do not even have a single road? I mean, look at this awesome honeypot shop. Look how sweet it is, but no freaking roads. Same goes for this slime blob over here and this giant iron golem. I mean, there's like half a road over there, which is great, but it's not a freaking road. Even down here at this prismarine wagon and this here light shop, 
there's been a couple of right clicks on grass to make a few path blocks, but dudes, that ain't a road. I mean, if you ask me, guys, this is absolutely unacceptable. We cannot progress here in the season without getting some decent roads out here in the shopping district. You know what my mama always taught me back in the day when I was a little puppy in the kennel? If you want something done, do it your dang self. That's what mama used to teach me, my dudes, and I think that's what we're gonna have to do here on the server. I mean, these roads ain't gonna build themselves, and maybe we should dedicate half of the week to starting to set up some foundations for an actual road network in this shopping district. Ooh, I think I might have spoke a little bit too soon, guys, because there is actually a little bit of road action going on here. Take a look at this. This looks like a B-double-O road to me. It is absolutely beautiful, man. And I don't know, this road's given me some juice. This is giving me some motivation to actually get some work done out here in the shopping district for my fellow hermits. I mean, it's not gonna be too big of a job, right? We just need to clear some of these dark oak wood trees and make some roads. I mean, we've got the deep slate for it. We've got the time for it. I mean, I literally have nothing better to do with my life than make roads in the new shopping district. Oh, and we are 100% taking this opportunity to troll our good friend Scar. I reckon let's use these definitely not the ugliest block in Minecraft magenta terracotta blocks to lay down the foundations of the road network here in the shopping district. Ah, oh, Scar's gonna love it so much. It's a pleasure, Scar. What can I say? I'm always looking after my fellow hermits. Now my fellow cyber dogs from all over the world, I wish I could say that making the roads for our new shopping district is gonna be an easy task, but as you can probably tell by now, this is gonna be a ridiculously painful task, mostly because we're in a dark oak wood biome. Yep, the shopping district, as you can see, is completely enveloped by a ridiculously dense dark oak wood forest, and I don't really feel like spending tens of hours cutting down all of these trees so now that we've got a ridiculous access to gunpowder why don't we try do this in a more interesting way guys i've rigged up a couple of trees here with some tnt uh, our next section of road is going to be going in this direction so we need to do a bunch of tree clearing and i'm hoping that even though we might do some damage to the environment this is going to be a nice quick way to get rid of trees i mean all we need to do is stick some tnt in the canopy of the tree and hopefully that should get rid of the entire tree with a bit of a crater action going there. That's not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. Now, these trees over here should all chain together. I've tried to put the TNT close enough together so that we should be able to get rid of uh, a massive section of trees here. And that should be good because that'll only take a couple of seconds to occur if I've rigged it correctly. Let's have a look. Boom! The boom booms are going. Trees are blasting, but oh no, craters are getting made. Um, oh jeez, okay, it, oh no, um, uh, uh, well the trees got cleared, but not quite as intended, I'm afraid, <laughs> oh no, I, I guess we're going back to using the good old fashioned Logolas axe, my friends, I mean, professional minecrafter right here guys all right most of the damage has been repaired from that last blast session guys and i want to try this one more time but maybe what we need to do is just be a little gentler with this here tnt right i'm thinking maybe let's do one tree at a time the chaining of explosions seems to be the problem here so yeah if we hit some tnt at the crown of the tree and in the middle that one should set that one off and that one didn't set that one off, but that was a much cleaner break, wasn't it? And then maybe what we can do is just finish things off with the axe. Um, and I mean, this is going to save us a little bit more time than chopping down all the trees manually. And to be honest, it's actually kind of fun blowing trees up. So yeah, I think I'm going to probably spend the rest of the afternoon clearing trees like this using the TNT from our creeper farm. And hopefully we can get to a point where we actually start constructing some roads today.
It's the next day in real life, Simon Diggity Dogs, and oh my goodness, we be cooking with gas up in the new shopping district, guys. <laughs> Jeez, I have been grinding so hard for the last day or so, and as you can see, Ren Diggity Dogs gone and made some roads, baby. <laughs> Look at this. I've been clearing dark oakwood trees for what feels like an eternity now, and I've pretty much got most of the roads laid out the way that I want them to here in the shopping district. And uh, there's still quite a few that I need to add into the entire system. But for now, uh, if we get into our gigabug mode, we can see, man, look at this. The roads are starting to come together quite nicely. And in fact, I've even started to map out a couple of plots for my fellow hermits. If they want to come out here and set up new shops and stuff, they've got a few plots that they could potentially use. Um, and yeah, I've also prepared the area here for the, the Giga Jacks shop, which we're going to be building in a few hours or so. But I'm um, very pleased with the progress here in the shopping area, guys. I really hope that the Hermits will get inspired by this and come out here and start making some really awesome shops. Uh, especially considering how awesome this road design by B00 is. I mean, look at this road. It looks so awesome. I love it so much, man. It's such a great design, and I think it's going to look super awesome um, here in the shopping district. We're going to have a couple of main roads, which are like, I think this is 15 blocks across. A main road all the way through the main strip, if you will. And uh, maybe we'll have another main strip along this, uh, this area here where this water is. That could look pretty sweet. And maybe another one that sort of is like a boulevard or something in front. Oh, I got so many ideas for the roads, guys. Uh, it's going to be super awesome, man. Ren Diggity Dog, hashtag king of the roads on the Hermacross server. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I'm so tired of roads now, though, guys. I think I'm going to take a break from this particular project. And I want to get cracking on the project that I'm most excited about for today's episode. And that is working on our next shop out here in the shopping district. We're going to be opening up a jack-o'-lantern shop. And there's actually a few little things that I still need to purchase before we can get going here. I've spent a couple of hours this morning collecting all the resources that we're going to need to build the Giga Jacks Jack O' Lantern shop, but I am going to need a couple of uh, vines here from Cub Fan's shop. We need to make ourselves some mossy cobblestone. That should probably be enough. Yeah, two stacks. Actually, you know what? I think it's probably three stacks of uh, mossy cobblestone that we need. So that's great. This is a very awesome shop. Everything green, you can get it from this here shop because it's called greens. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm sure once the uh, Giga Jack shop is up and running, I shall come back here for a few bits of foliage that we can add uh, for decoration. But um, there's one more shop that I need to visit here, guys, and that is to get some more green stuff. This is stuff that I've not been able to farm myself, and uh, we're coming over to B00's Moss Omana... Moss Omenos! Moss Omenos? Moss Omenos? Uh, I don't know how to say it. It's a moss shop. It's freaking sweet. And uh, it's out here in the corner of the shopping district next to, I think this is Scar's Mega Shop here. Very, very nice. And uh, as far as I can understand from B-Dubs' video, there's actually a pretty interesting way for us to get moss from the shop. Oh my goodness. This interior though, absolutely beautiful. I mean, would you expect anything less from the B-Dubber Dubs? I think not, friends. Um, yeah, here it is. Here it is. This is what I'm looking for. Brown meal. Take a look at this, right? We buy 16 brown meal from the barrels and take them out back. We put the brown meal in the processing machine and retrieve your items from the drop chutes. Uh, we have a potential chance to get more moss from the brown meal machine than from this. This is one stack equals one diamond, but we might be able to get a bit more than that with the brown meal, right? So I'm thinking like, let's take, um, yeah, let's take like a full stack of brown meal. Go drop that into the machine outside and see what happens. Input the brown meal. Um, how do we do that? Do we just like chuck the brown meal onto the thing? No, okay. I think we actually have to put the brown meal in the dropper. <laughs> oh my goodness, redstone done by B00. What the heck is going on here? Um, is something happening? Do I have to wait for something? Is there, oh, look at this. Here comes the, here comes the moss. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, that is brilliant. Look at this man. The machine is like piping the moss up here. And then it's getting, something's happening. It's getting like baked or something. And then this beautiful shop is spinning the moss outside of the, this exit pipe. Okay, this shop is freaking sweet. My dudes are getting a moss shower right now. And wow, we are getting way more than a stack of uh, moss blocks here. We're onto two stacks already from this beautiful machine. This is fantastic, man. I gotta say, one of my favorite shopping experiences in Hermacraft since... 
I don't know, since Sahara? I mean, this is so unique and so original. Oh man, imagine every shop in the shopping district had a unique experience like this, guys. Wouldn't the shopping district be amazing? Oh, that is so sweet. You know what? This has inspired me a lot. I'm going to try my hardest to make sure that all of my shops do something really cool like this. Amazing job on this moss shop, B-dubs. I love it so much, man. And we are getting so much moss. I've been getting more moss than I ever thought that I actually needed, man. We've spent four diamonds on what? Like four stacks? Oh, we're getting a whole bunch of other stuff coming out of here too. Recycled bits of nonsense. What is this? Why are we getting all this junk also? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, it's either a moss dispenser or a garbage chute, guys. I mean, either or. Um, not complaining too much, because look at that. We're getting azalea shrubs also. Okay, don't tell Corallus, guys, but moss o menos my favorite shop in Season 9 by far. It's another glorious evening in the Gigaverse, everyone, and it looks like our magenta has had its desired effect on Good Times with Scar. <laughs> Simply a sign that says no, but that's not the only sign that I have spotted on my magenta road markers. Look at this. There's signs everywhere, right behind Scar's building here. Remove, delete, Road suggestion. Wait, that's that's the original one, I think. But look at this. Scar is definitely not happy with my magenta road markers, which is just fantastic. I mean, we've achieved a lot of things in today's episode, but the thing I'm most happy about achieving is trolling Scar in the most wholesome and awesome of ways. Sorry, Scar. Love your face, my dude. Any hoozle, in other great news, everybody, I am very pleased to report that I've made some excellent progress on the Giga Jacks Jack o' Lantern shop. Unfortunately, I've not managed to finish it in this week's episode. I mean, as you can see, we've been quite busy doing quite a lot of grind work at this episode. However, I did manage to get pretty much the facade or the shell of the shop done. And it is looking absolutely amazing. Let me take you for a few minutes through what we've got going on over here. This is a beautiful design done by the mad scientists over in the Giga Labs. And they've come up with, well, essentially what is a jack-o'-lantern factory, right? It's more of an, al an alchemy lab. It's more of a scientific laboratory for pumpkins than it is a factory. And the idea of this shop is that we're going to have like an, a thing out here. This is going to be some sort of a machine uh, a steampunk type machine that's going to be processing pumpkins. Those pumpkins are going to be heading into the main alchemy lab where they are going to be probably synthesized in some biochemical fashion into jack-o'-lanterns and then we're going to be selling the jack-o'-lanterns um, out of some sort of dispensing machine. I mean look we've been super inspired by B00's moss uh, shop so I want to do something awesome for jack-o'-lanterns out here and 
uh, yeah, this is where we're at at the moment in the build. Next episode, I'm going to finish off the interior and the redstone for the shop itself. Um, and I do want to do a bit more terraforming around here. You know, this is pretty janky stuff. We've just been bone mealing some trees and stuff. I mean, we need some custom trees out here. You know what I'm saying? Just bog standard vanilla bone meal trees just ain't good enough for Gigacorp. Am I right, guys? By the way, super awesome that we can see the Gigalogs um, sign from just outside Giga Jacks. I think that's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, guys, gotta tell you, I am absolutely knackered, man. It has been one heck of a week worth of grind. I'm very, very pleased with what we've achieved out here, though. And I'm very glad that we took the initiative this week and actually did something about the roads in the shopping district of Hermacraft Season 9. Because let's be honest, it's absolutely outrageous that here on the Hermacraft server, the world's number one Minecraft SNP, there wasn't a single freaking road in the shopping district. And you know what? Ren Diggity is gonna do something about that. And so we have, hashtag, King of the Roads, baby. My dudes, thank you so very much for watching. We'll smell you all in the next episode. I am never chopping down another dark oak wood tree in Minecraft ever again, my dudes. Ever again. <laughs>